told to to go. <laughs> David and Matt, and they just, they're like, okay, you need to go in here and, and find this. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And so I go in. <laughs> What'd you find? I thought it was a whistle. It's a girl's cabin. And <laughs> I walked in and there was stuff everywhere. It was everywhere. I didn't know. I didn't know what it was, but it was there. And <laughs> How did that affect you afterwards? Well, I got out and I was just scared. I just, I didn't, I didn't know that stuff existed. And what do you do with it all? It was just. It was everywhere, and I mean, I, I have two sisters, but I guess I was shielded. And, and when I got, oh my gosh. It, Rob, why did you think that was a good idea? I don't know, I just, I've known David and Matt for so long, and they just, they told me to go in there and that everything would be okay, and that I would find what I was looking for. And it's not okay. It's not. It's, I'm not going to be the same. I, I wanted to have a good time here at camp. Don't, don't go into the girls' room. I'm that guy that you hooked up with at camp. I'm gonna keep you away from all your friends. There's no way you're gonna keep your mind off me during pat time. You're gonna get my heartfelt encouragement note saying that it was God's will for us to be together. Then, two weeks after camp and no phone calls later, you get a text in the middle of the night explaining that it's just not meant to be, because God told me so. So don't hook up at camp, and save yourself from mayhem like me. Girls, do you know there is a monster laying out of this camp? That's why we have a rule here, don't leave the camp. Because long time ago, there were some students across this fence and they found those students after three days and they were not the same. So remember this, don't leave the camp. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna check the other fire. You guys work here, okay? Okay. I don't believe what he's telling us. That's, that's crazy. Hey, let's go check it out. Oh, that's... They, last year, they told us not to for that same reason, and I think what he's saying is right. Oh, come on. He, you know how elves are. They, they joke around. He's telling us a story. Come on. Rachel. Rachel, we shouldn't. It'll be cool. Nobody will ever know. Bye. Where did they go? Looks like they're trying to leave the camp. around out here for an hour. I told you he was just kidding us. He hasn't seen anything. I don't think it's a story, Rachel. I think it's real. No, we would have seen something by now. Come on, let's keep, let's keep going. So what did you learn? Don't leave camp. Do you ever feel like people don't even know who you are? Yeah. 
Are you always unaware of where to go and when to be there? Have you ever found yourself in a near-death situation with a wild boar and absolutely no form of contacting someone for help? Then you need your lanyard! Wearing your lanyard provides people with your name and increases your chances of positive social interaction. Avoid death by boar. Use the whistle to call for help. With this lanyard, you will most certainly be the happiest, coolest kid at camp. Call now at 1-800-ALWAYS-WEAR-YOUR-LANYARD to retrieve your own personalized lanyard, fully equipped with your name, the camp schedule, and your emergency whistle. Don't hesitate. Wear yours today. Me and Amber, I can't believe you made me wear white on water day. You scared? Dude. You need to stop being such a rule follower. Live life up a little bit. Live by the rules. Yeah, what? It's not like it's a big deal. It's a rule. It's white. Who cares? It's not like anything's gonna happen to us. I like wearing white on water day. I mean, it's not like anything bad is gonna happen to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my belly button through this. <laughs> Man, Raul. Oh my god. Man, I can't believe Raul came up and did that. We're soaking wet. So inconsiderate. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel kind of, kind of weird. How do you feel? I, I feel okay. I mean... Okay. Well, let's come on. Let's keep going. We gotta right. go help the others. Come on. We can go help them out. All right. Hey Tanner, can you pass me a rake, bro? Who's that? Ow! But hit me. He, he hit you with the rake. Oh my god. Dude, gosh. man, what's your problem? Dude, what? Hey, Catherine. What is that? Y'all need any help? Who's there? Dude, just pass me a rake, man. Who's there? They can't see us. They can't see us, Chris! They can't see us! Oh my gosh! What? No! 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 Okay, so chaos theory mainly is just non-linear equations that equal into yeah. randomness and chaos. So that's what chaos theory is. And vectors are interesting science terms. And then also another interesting science math term are matrices. Okay, okay. You're supposed to be taking me to see the dinosaurs. I'm here to film them, take pictures of them. You're not showing me anything. Well, I'm not actually a dinosaur expert. I'm a mathematician. This park sucks. Where are the dinosaurs? Well, maybe we're in the wrong area, but let's see what time it is. Oh, it's like 11 o'clock. We need to start going to lunch. I'm not hungry, I want to see dinosaurs. Well, when our lunch time is, that's also the dinosaurs' lunch time. There are no dinosaurs! Well, how, how are they out? Well, we really need to get out of this area because- Please, Malcolm, just take me to see the dinosaurs. There's your dinosaur! Uh, Malcolm? Malcolm? Lady, where do you think you're going? I'm going inside. I can't get comfortable. No, you know that we have to be outside during that time. Really? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I'm going inside. It's hot. Hey, Catherine. Hey. Where are you going? Oh, I just forgot my book. Oh, I thought I just saw you carrying it. Okay. Yeah, stay outside during cat time, okay? Okay. Alright. Okay, I get it. 
In a camp where the rules are enforced, three men will choose to ignore the laws that have stood for so long and do the unthinkable. Dude, guys, we should totally go swim in the pond. Oh yeah, this is legendary. But not everyone is united in their cause. No way, bro. It's a no-go for me, bro. No way, we've never done it. We have to do it. Oh, I'm already playing down. No. Sir, guys, come on. Dumb. Are you a little girl or something? However, what was once their dream will become a nightmare. Where's Chris? Dude, where'd he go? Chris! 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 Doesn't look good. Yep, I don't care, man. We have to find those people. Yeah, the witness said that they ran off this way into the forest. All right. Now. To clear their name, they will it do whatever me. it takes it to find the fault. truth, even if it costs them their friendship. Man, we can't do this again. It was supposed to be legendary. The best ever. I didn't know he was going to die. Well, how did you screw it up? I thought we were going to have a good time. How did you mess that up? We were going to have a good time. I didn't know he was going to die. Well, now he's dead. He didn't even want to do it in the first place. Dude. And it's our fault. It's on us. What are we going to do now? I don't know. And a dark secret from one of their pasts will come back to haunt them. Hello, Tanner. David? It's been a long time. Do you think I'd forget what you did during the war? Coming this pace setters to a campground near you. Don't swim in the pond.